Today we're going to be going through some different cowboy action cross draw techniques, different ways on how to move, transition, etc. So let's get into it. So I'm going to start off by going through some of the rules. And according to the SAS handbook on page 3, both your handguns have to be divided by your belly button. You cannot have two pistols on each side or one cross, etc. So they have to be divided by your belly button, and they also have to be at least two fists apart. You can see that this is a little over two fists apart, and they are divided by my belly button. This one's on the right side, and this one's on my left side. And also when you're shooting the cross draw, you gotta make sure that you can do either left leg forward, depending on how far you get your cross draw over. If you have it, like some of us call a crotch draw, which is right here, lots of times you only have to put your left leg forward, and you might break the 170. If you're shooting your cross draw, somewhere way back over here, you're going to have to do what's called the cross draw dance. If you pull it out, it's breaking the 170. If you swing your body around, pull it out, shoot, swing it back, holster, you're no longer breaking the 170. So now I'm going to go through some of the basics of shooting cross draw. I'm a right-handed shooter. Um, I will normally always shoot my cross draw first if it's most convenient. I will draw my cross draw out, shoot it, wrap my left hand up and around the top tang of the handgun, and you want to be looking into the holster, it's just like driving, you want to look, you look where you want to go, and you will holster that gun, and as you're holstering it, you can be bringing out this gun, and you shoot this gun, and you're holstering, and you're going on to the next thing that you're doing. Now I'll show you what that looks like in roughly half speed. And now I'll show you what that looks like in full speed. So now I'm going to show you a bit of an advanced technique. So if you're shooting a stage from right to left, let's say you shoot your rifle over there and you come over here to shoot your pistols. When you come over here, if you want to shoot your cross draw first, you have to swing all the way around before you pull out that gun. If you don't, you start pulling it out over here. You have definitely broken the 170, and anyone over here, you could be sweeping up a loaded gun, and that is a big no-no. What I do is I'll actually sh pull my strong hand holster first. So as I'm coming over, I'll pull this gun, shoot it, put it into my left hand like I normally would for holstering it into this cross draw. I pull up the cross draw gun, holster this gun into the cross draw, shoot this gun, and holster and keep going. So now I'll show you the technique in roughly half speed. So if you're coming from the right side, and I'll show you it in roughly full speed. A bit faster than moving your whole body around to pull your cross draw first. So now I'm going to show you guys another technique if you're shooting your pistols and rifle from the same position and let's say your pistols have to be first. So I'll start with a cross draw like normal, I'll shoot that gun, holster it with my left hand as I'm pulling out the right gun, shoot that gun, I'll put it into my left hand like I will for holstering the cross draw, I'll be putting, I'll be watching this gun into the holster as I'm reaching for the lever of my rifle, and I'll pick up my rifle and I'll start shooting it. So I'll show you that at about half speed now. Bang, bang, bang. So now I'll you it, show you it at roughly full speed. Bang, bang, bang. It is a little bit faster than pulling this gun, shooting it, holstering, shooting this gun. Holstering and then reaching for your rifle, but you also have to practice this one heck of a lot because the last thing you want to do at a big match Miss the holster and you get a gun that flops on the ground. This is something that you really have to practice with So all these different transitions and techniques I highly recommend practicing at home with of course an unloaded firearm and sit there say in your living room Practice those different techniques before you shoot them at an actual match because the last thing you want to do in a match is be dropping guns, etc. It's just safer to try it out at home first. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below.